and welcome to everything about Windows. And in this video I want to show you how you can install the official Android 8.0 Oreo on your Galaxy S7 Edge, the SMG 935F. So um, first of all you must know that this will void your warranty so Nox will be tripped. So the first thing you want to do is you go first into the settings on your Galaxy S7 Edge. Then you scroll all the way down to about phone and then you want to head to software info and then we want to tap multiple times under build number until developer mode is um, activated. Then you will have this option here which is called developer option. You will turn first of all developer options on and then you want to check that OEM unlock is activated so um, this is needed to flash TVRP recovery and um, also you can turn on USB debugging so um, this is not not um, really needed but it's helpful and this can um, this can avoid some errors when we are flashing this ROM okay so if you have down, uh, copied these files um, the ROM file and the no verity um, encrypt file on your Galaxy S7 Edge on the micro SD card. We are now ready to boot into the download mode. So uh, first of all, I want to um, to remember that it's important to back up all your data, so um, all your WhatsApp chats, for example, and um, you can also do a Samsung Cloud backup. Uh, um, by just going into Samsung Cloud um, and yeah, here you can do a backup so I will show you um, how this works so uh, you go into your settings then you will go into um, cloud and accounts Samsung Cloud so let's skip this intro and then you can backup settings and you can choose what you want to back up. So if you want to back up the clock, phone, the home screen with all the APKs and apps and settings, messages, voice recorder, music and documents. So you can back up, do a backup and later on the ROM you can restore all your data. But I would also recommend to save uh, files like photos and so on on your PC or on your SD card. So now we turn off the device as usually, power off. And uh, then we are now entering the um, the download mode in um, by holding the power uh, the power button, the home button, and the volume down key at the same time. So I will try to do this with just one hand. This will be a, a challenge. So you will have to hold. Um, home button, power button, volume down at the same time until you see this screen here. Then you want to continue and do uh, tap volume up to continue and it says downloading. Now we jump back to our laptop. Okay, so um, the next thing, now we are here on uh, our PC. You will have to jump to the XDA um, uh, thread which um, I will link down below in the description. So you go da there and you will download these two files. So the first one is no verity opt encrypt 6.0. So this is needed to um, boot the ROM. And then you will have to download the S7 Edge Oreo by J1.1. So this is version 1.1. And um, this uh, is a small update because the, the um, developer has um, fixed an issue so uh, Asolf is now working and he has debloated the ROM um, from all these Vietnamese apps we wanna have there and um, yeah you make sure you have downloaded these two files and then you wanna save these or copy these files on your micro SD card on your phone so um, this is needed because when we are flashing the ROM everything will be deleted on your phone and you will have to um, or you need uh, external storage to flash these two files. Also what, what is working is that you copy these on a USB drive and then you connect this over OTG 
um, on your Galaxy S7 Edge. So DVRP is also um, recognizing an OTG adapter. And what you wanna or what you need is also um, TVRP downloaded. So you will have to go um, to the TVRP site. So I will just link this down uh, below in the video description. Okay guys, we are now back here on our Galaxy S7 Edge. Now we see the screen that is, uh, the bar is fully loaded up. So um, everything is flashed, the TVRP is flashed. Now we have to hold um, the power button, the volume down key and the home button again to exit it. And when your t uh, screen turns black, just hold down home button, power button, but instead of holding, um, uh, continuing holding the power down button, you will have to, um, to um, press or hold the power up button. So let's do this. Okay, so now do the, let's do this quickly. Um, we are holding down the power button, as I said before, the volume down and the home button until the screen goes black. And then you wanna now hold down the volume up button, power button and home button. So you can release now when you see this logo Galaxy S7 Edge. And now you wanna see that TVRP is opening up. So um, I try to focus here. So now you will get a message um, to keep system red only and you will have to swipe to allow modification. And that's the point where you can't now boot uh, into your operating system. Then you want to go to wipe. You go or you flash or you select swipe to factory reset. Then you will get an error. That's normal because first, it's my fault. First, we have to go to format the data. So we have to go to this point. Then you will have to type in yes to confirm and then you will see that it is formatting data. So now you will get a message that it's done. You go back again. Then we gonna uh, we want to select advanced vibe. Then we select Dalvik system as Dalvik system data internal storage cache. So uh, we want to select all these um, five options uh, instead just these which are given on XDA because um, when you wipe everything like this um, you have the optimal results so you wanna with you don't wanna have some uh, bugs or problems so we swipe to wipe you will see that it's it's giving us a message that everything is wiped and the partitions are updated then we go back, reboot, and we select recovery. It says no OS installed. Are you sure you wish to reboot? And then swipe to reboot. We Now uh, the phone is re rebooting itself into TVRP recovery. So let's wait. Let's swipe again to allow modifications. Now we tap on install and that's the point where we want to install um, yeah, the, the actual um, Android Oreo. So we go to select storage. So it's here down below. Then we select our storage where we have saved um, the file, the two zip files. So we want to go to micro SD card. We click OK. Then we search for our location. So it depends on you where you have saved these two zip files. Um, and then we want to flash here this file, um, the S7 Edge Oreo by J1.1. So this was the first version, but I will take also the 1.1 version. And now we swipe to confirm flash. Now it will uh, take some time, so just some um, minutes or seconds. So um, here you can see the flashing process. It says Samsung Experience 9.0 for Galaxy S7 Edge with the January uh, patch. And the Android OS version is 8.0.0. .0 .0. 
and here you can also see the ROM version. So let's wait until it's done. Okay, so when it's finished, you will see this message, script succeeded, result was 1, updating partition details, done. So this is a good message. Now we go back, because we are not finished, you would, please don't tap on reboot, you will have to flash the no verity opt encrypt 6.0 zip. So now you can swipe to confirm flash, so let's do this. And then this just takes some seconds, so we see all these uh, details and it's finished. Then you can, or I would recommend to wipe cache and Delvic. Swipe to wipe. And now you can reboot a uh, system and we are finished. So if you want to have root access, you have to um, search on XDA and um, basically you will just install Magisk the Majesk installer and then also after the no verity opt we have flashed now you would install basically the Majisk file and then reboot to system but we wa don't want to have root so um, here do not install the TVRP app and now we are booting to the ROM so you will see here Galaxy S7 Edge the basic screen and then you will see the Samsung logo and this is also a good sign when you don't see something red here and let's wait until it's finished. Guys, the mission is complete so you can see that we are on the welcome screen and that's a Vietnamese leaked ROM so everything is on Vietnamese here so you can select here your language so um, let's uh, head to English United States Okay, and now you can set up Android 8. So that was how you can install um, Android the, the ROM on a Galaxy S7 Edge. Bear with me please because this was my first record video like this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Bye.